most in demand skills, right, for 2023. Most in demand skills for 2023. Um, this is an article by LinkedIn here. And, um, you know, I'll, I'll just rattle them off real quick. Let me jump over to the article, right? Most in demand skills for 2023, according to LinkedIn. I think I was showing this during the first um, topic that I was discussing regarding in demand skills or, um, no degree requirements for companies, but um, I think I had the wrong article up, but this is the article for most in-demand skills. And now what I'll do here, guys, is this. I'll drop the links to the article so that you guys can reference these uh, in the description channel or in the description section of the video today. Have it all pasted up and I'll just drop them in there so you guys can access and do a little bit of reading. But um, most in-demand skills for 2023. Okay, according to LinkedIn, the online job and social site listed the top skills in areas such as IT as well as engineering, recruiting, sales, and marketing. Okay, they were created a list for the most in demand skills for 2023. And guess what, guys? Digital skills. Digital skills are important. You read through this article regarding the hard skills, the soft skills, right? Digital skills. These are skills related to digital marketing, social media, digital content creation. Many of you guys know how to, you know, market yourself on different platforms, whether it's YouTube, social media, Facebook, TikTok, and so forth, Instagram. These are skills that companies are looking for, and they're looking for talent in these areas. Data analysis, right? With the increasing importance of the use of data throughout the, um, throughout every company, in IT or not in IT throughout the business because you need data in order for you to make the appropriate decisions, right? Data analysis skills are highly valued to the point where you guys know that I'm in the Google Coursera data analytics course and I'm using, I'm learning, you know, ways that I can look at data and, you know, survey data to make better business decisions as a person that's responsible for others in an organization. It's important to have these skills. You're not too high in an organization to learn these skills. Digital skills, data analysis skills, and so forth. Technology skills are important as well. As technology continues to advance, skills related to cloud computing, artificial intelligence, our brother AI me, cybersecurity, these are skills that are in high demand, right? Skills such as uh, creative skills are important as well because creativity, is important and it is important in industries such as, you know, marketing and entertainment. These are all skills that you need. The soft skills, let's talk about that. Emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is an important skill to have. Communication skills, leadership skills, these are essential for success in the workforce. These are essential. How can you gain leadership skills? Well, you can read some books, but ultimately you have to practice. These leadership skills are about behaviors. Leadership skills are about learning from others. You know a good leader that you've been around. Look in and you know, work with individuals like them to figure out how they gained those leadership skills and was able to move and conduct themselves to where others would follow. You can practice in your household. You can practice leadership in your household. For many of you guys, that's the first place where it should start, with your kids, your wife. You learning how to be a follower. Those are skills that you can learn in a house and you don't necessarily need to pay for those skills. This takes you wanting to invest in yourself, read books, practice, take care of it. Healthcare skills, right? With the healthcare industry continuing to grow, skills to relate to healthcare technology, patient care, public health, all that are skills that you need in order for you to have success in 2023 and beyond. Sales skills. I like to talk about sales skills, guys. You already know it. Sales skills is important. And I like to talk about sales skills because of the fact that, um, you know, uh, when you learn sales, it's going to open your mind up to, now flip the back on me. It's going to open your mind up to new ways of making transactions happen. Because once you realize that customers can buy, they're not going to always buy the best. They're going to buy typically from people that they trust. And once you understand that, you're going to see that anything, you can sell just about anything. And we live, I got to say this, we live in, I would potentially say, and others would potentially say this as well. I'm tripping up on my words right here. 
the best country to be able to sell anything that you want. I mean, seriously, if I wanted to sell this used Mio, you know, water enhancer, I can sell it. It's easy to do. If I wanted to sell this bottle cap that's sitting next to me because I've been drinking water this morning, I can sell it. I got to find the right buyers. That's where technology comes in that to find the right buyers and so forth. But once you realize that you can sell, you realize that you can sell just about anything. You can create just about anything. And once you have those skills, you're going to say, oh, my God, there is no longer a ceiling on my earning potential. What's up, Ladder Climbers? It's Antoine Wade. I wanted to interrupt this video to talk to you guys about Course Careers. Course Careers is the place that you guys need to go. If you have a high interest into tech sales. They will help you gain the skills that you need so that you can enter the tech sales world to make a whole bunch of money. Tech sales salaries early on is about $60,000, guys. That's a good salary. And with OTEs, you can make anywhere from eighty five dollars to $90,000. If you have an interest in tech sales, check out Course Careers, link in the description. And don't forget to use Antoine50 so that you can get a $50 discount off of Course Careers. See you guys in tech sales. I had a conversation with our brother Ken the other day because at the Black Heights event, I was talking about how at one point in time, you know, outside of my W-2 job, outside of my W-2 job, I wanted to be able to make $100 a day. $100 a day is about $3,100 a month. And the reason why I wanted to make $100 a day is because I want me and my family to be able to do whatever the hell we want to do any single day of the week and be able to spend $100. Could be going out and purchasing coffee, could be going out to our favorite restaurant, could be going out to have some cocktails, could be me purse, you know, buying some cigars. It could be just sitting in the house, you know, buying groceries and cooking out on my laptop, right? Making brunch for folks, buying some champagne so we can have some mimosas. That's how I like to rock, right? But I want to be able to have $100 so that I can spend it. And that was a goal of mine some years ago. Well, I was able to exceed that, right? $100 a day. And what I'll do is I'm going to have a session with my patrons to share how they can do it. Now it's $900 a day. $900 a day, guys. That's outside of my W-2. Many of you probably like, that's not a lot of money, Antoine. But you think about it, that's a good amount of money. That's $31,000 in a month. Outside of W-2 income. Now, is it consistent? No, that's an average. But you can do that by having platforms like YouTube, partnering with people like Course Careers, Level Careers, partnering with people like Careerist or Master IT or Kev IT Tech or Kev Tech IT Support, selling and helping them get their message out there, their courses out there to be able to help other individuals break into tech. You can do that by having real estate but you need to be able to make the money. And that's what sales allows for you to understand. It unlocks that, it blows the roof off of what you think that you can make. As in other jobs, cybersecurity, don't get me wrong, you can become a CISO, it's gonna take you 17, 18, 20 years in order for you to make $500,000 a year, fine. That's great, it's a great income. But once you get into sales, you're gonna realize that, oh man, like I can make this sort of transaction happen. And once you get the confidence to be able to do so, you're going to be able to sell pins. You know how people, you know, the Grant Cardone video of, hey, sell me this pin, right? You, you're going to learn how to do such a thing and find the buyers that will ultimately purchase your courses. So guys, if you want to break into sales, right? You want to break into sales. We've partnered with Level Careers as well too, right? Go and check them out. Go and sign up for their free intro course. They have a tech sales closer masterclass. Our brother Alan here, he finished the course in a matter of 14 days and he's getting ready to transition from retail sales to that of an account executive or an SDR, whatever one that he chooses. But this course has allowed for him to open his mindset up that he can do B2B sales. So check it out, sign up for their free intro course. And if you want to, or think this is the right fit for you, sign up for the full course, 497. Who is it taught by? The gentleman who I had on a couple weeks ago, Kevin Dorsey, one of the best in the game. Go and check out his LinkedIn. He just bought a house in Costa Rica. It was his dream. He didn't buy the house, he built the house. Well, he bought it, but yes, he built it as well too from the ground up. Took years, took like three years because of the COVID pandemic and so forth. But he's teaching you how to become the best tech sales closer. Check it out, go and like, sign up for the tech sales course. I'll drop this one in the link as well too, right? And I'll tell you this, you know, when you think about it, like, you know, $100 here, $50 here, and you're just, it's just coming in. Then you start to realize, I had this conversation too with Ken, 
he started to realize, you know, when Grant Cardone said, hey, you know what? If you are making $400,000 or less, you should be ashamed, right? You, and, and, you, and you you hear that and you say, damn, like, I see what he's talking about. Because he's saying that a, a million dollars a year goes towards his jet, goes towards his jet. And think about this. If you started today, jumping on a platform, TikTok, so forth, growing your brand, Within two, three, four years, you could be at thousands of dollars a day, thousands of dollars a day. There's no cap to what you can make once you are in tech sales. You can be like our, our boy Cyrus, who jumped into tech sales as a sales engineer, and he built a brand, Tech is a New Black on Instagram, went viral, and now he's doing public speaking engagements, making all kinds of money, driving around in Lambos and so forth. Like you can be that kind of a guy. You can do whatever you, you can, whatever you want. Take your family, move them out of the country, go and buy that big house that you want. That's what sales allows you to do. And we've given you guys ways that you can do it. I just showed course careers. But if there's other companies that are out there, like, or I just showed level careers, but there's other companies that are out there like course careers that exist. A partner of ours, go ahead and sign up for their course, become an SDR. Great company, great product, great services. Use the Antoine 50 discount code to receive $50 off. For $450, you can make an investment that's going to level you up in your life. In that conversation that we had with Kevin Dorsey last uh, two weeks ago, he said, hey, you know what? Like, what job is there out there where you don't need to have a degree and you can literally make an unlimited amount of money in your career? It's not entertainment. Entertainers, after they get old, nah, nah, they're not making that kind of money. Not athletes. They only have a short shelf life, depending on the sport. If you're in tech sales for, you know, or in the industry doing tech sales for a good you know, 15, 20 years, you've made a lot of money. You've made a lot of money. If, if you've done it for two to three years, you've made a good amount of money. This is from somebody who's taken that journey. You've made a good amount of money. And whether you're wanting to take a step back now to launch yourself forward, you need to consider that because you may be making $100, $100,000 today, $80,000 today. And you're saying to yourself, man, like I want to get more money. Sometimes it does take taking a step back. I've had to do it within my career. I've talked about it. I've talked about it to my patrons, how I was promoted over the last, you know, four years and so forth. You have to take a step down in order for you to launch yourself up. It's no different than looking at stock charts and all of that. Sometimes your stock takes a dip. And it's not taking a dip from the standpoint of you're losing something. Yeah, you may be losing something monetarily, but you're going to significantly gain that back in one, two, three, four years. So consider level careers. Consider course careers. These are great companies that will allow for you to break into tech sales. These are great companies that allow for you to break into tech sales. What other skills that this article talks about? Um, you know, language skills, right? Um, being able to speak multiple languages. So some of you guys who are multilingual, um, you will be very valuable as the world becomes more global and you start to communicate with people from all over the world, especially online with this real remote work, uh, that environment that we're in, you make a good amount of money, guys. 